now, KOMU 8 Sports. Welcome back, everyone. For the past couple of seasons, the Missouri Tigers have broken a lot of school records, a trend continuing this season after the impressive 37-9 win over Illinois. It marked the 11th straight non-conference win for the Tigers, the longest streak in school history. The last non-conference loss for MU was back in 2005 against the New Mexico Lobos. In Saturday's win, Missouri quarterback Lane Gabbert went 25 of 33 for 319 yards and three touchdowns. He added an additional 39 yards and one rushing touchdown for the best opening performance of a QB under coach Gary Pinkle. Coach says it's all because he was really, really focused. He was focused. He was zeroed in. Our whole football team was pretty focused. But he was focused and he... Um, he was, he was uh, uh, you know, I think, you know, the, the toughness aspect of being a great quarterback, I mean, it's one game, but uh, he just showed me a lot of toughness. And, you know, I can, throw a lot, can talk a lot about throws in there, but that stuff I'm looking for, that and competitiveness, um, that's, what I, that's what I like to see those things. I think he, he played extremely well, and I, I think he's extremely confident, and now we have a, a lot of confidence in him going into uh, next week versus Bowling Green. Former Missouri quarterback Chase Daniel focused on a new team. He practiced in a New Jersey today. No, not the state, but a New Orleans jersey. The Saints signed Daniel onto their practice squad after his release from the Washington Redskins. The Redskins had signed Daniel in April, but released him this past Saturday despite an impressive showing during the preseason. In Daniel's NFL debut, he went 6 of 8 for 58 yards and two touchdowns against the Pittsburgh Steelers. People from all over the Show Me State and across the country showed up in Columbia today for the 50th running of the Heart of America Marathon. Since the first race in 1960, more than 2,200 people have participated in the 26-mile run. Ryan Hauser from Columbia crossed the finish line first. He had never won a marathon. He had never ran a marathon before. Stay tuned to KOMU 8 Sports at 10 to get a chance to meet a man who holds the marathon close to his heart. We'll have more news you can count right after the break.